have you had mentors or others that you maybe have modeled your approach to leadership after? Oh, I've had a lot. Um, I, I, you know, one of the things I learned to do early in my career was um, to ask people I admired for their CV or their resume and use that as a way um, to, to, to see what their journey had been like across their, across their career. What was the first paper they published? What was the first you know, role that they had that was significant enough to add to a CV? And, and that way, sometimes I just learned about them. This is before Google, of course, that when you could Google someone's name, I learned about them uh, if, uh, in the background. But uh, I would say since I was very young, I've had people I've been able to look up to, to learn from, and who have helped me through direct mentorship or sponsorship uh, all along the way. I'm super grateful for that. I had one mentor who I'll call out, a fellow named John Peabody, he's a physician who was a formal mentor of mine for a, um, a career development award I had from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. And one of the most powerful things John taught me um, was to say no. And uh, you know, as a, as a leader, we're often asked to say yes and be available and to step up to the plate. John helped me realize that um, it was it was okay and sometimes necessary to say no so that I could give my attention um, to the things that really mattered to me. So uh, yeah, a great example of how somebody guided and steered and, and took the time to help me understand that there was gonna be a lot of opportunity. I didn't have to take them all at once. 